Yeah, so we were interested in looking at patients who become refractory or intolerant to brintuximab and dotin and anti-PD-1 therapies. Um, there's not a lot of data about how these patients do uh, long term. Uh, and so we created a multi center retrospective uh, database to, to analyze uh, these patients and how they do. Uh, fortunately, we found that uh, they actually do fairly well with the median overall survival of over 70 years. Um, but therapies that they do receive uh, after becoming double refractory or intolerant, um, including allogeneic stem cell transplant and CD30 CAR T cell therapy that were included in, in that uh, cohort, uh, significantly improved survival uh, compared to patients who did not receive either of those uh, treatment options. Similar uh, study, um, and so uh, we, uh, in the same study, we looked at rechallenging with brintuximab vidotin or anti PD1 therapies uh, for refractory uh, classical Hodgkin lymphoma. We found that patients uh, actually responded quite well with an objective response rate over 60% for both agents when they were rechallenged with, uh, um, with each agent specifically. Uh, complete responses were about 30%, but we did find that progression free survival was uh, pretty short with not many patients uh, remaining on therapy after a year. Um, so, rechallenging with brintuximab and dotin and anti PD1 therapies uh, could be used as potentially a bridge to another uh, treatment uh, option for patients.